Dear students, in this module, we are going to talk about the situation of human migration in Pakistan by reflecting certain statistics, certain facts and figures. Internal migration is uh, roughly four times larger than the emigrant population in Pakistan. A 13% of Pakistani population is considered internally displaced people or internal migrants. Uh, internal migration is undertaken by the low-skilled workers who move to the urban areas in search of job or their livelihood. Uh, there are certain determinants of internal migration, for example, rural-urban wage difference or the differences of amenities of life, economic opportunities, like the 35% of internal migration takes place for the marriage purposes as well, whereas 21% uh, people migrate with their parents and 16% uh, migrate for employment purposes and 9% uh, of the migra migrants are considered the seasonal mig migrants. Usually they live in the conditions, in the harsh climatic conditions and when the weather become unbearable, they move from their areas to those areas where the weather conditions are moderate and are bearable. If we talk about the differences, uh, different trends of migration in across our provinces. So in Punjab, uh, almost 1% of people migrate for the educational purposes. 22% or roughly between 22 and 23% migrate because of the marriage as you know usually because uh, uh, female uh, have to move uh, from their from her parents house to the husband house so usually she is also considered a migrant 38% uh, move with their parents uh, usually because of the uh, because of the job or because of the employment uh, purposes 8% are the business migrants 9% have migrated for the employment purposes out of those 38% and 1.17 are considered seasonal migrants in Punjab whereas 0 0.07 has migrated for the health purposes so usually in the rural areas they do not find the adequate health facilities so they move to the urban areas whereas the others count around 19% of the migrants who migrate for other purposes in Punjab. So here you would see the graphical reflection of the purposes of migration as you would see that majority of people are usually moving with their parents and then for employment, business and other purposes. Migration uh, in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa uh, for this uh, for different purposes is like 2% people are the study migrants, 8 to 9% are migration, migrating after marriage, whereas a significant majority is moving with their parents. As you know that Khyber Pakhtunkhwa is having the largest community of IDPs, internally displaced people, so 57% uh, is quite understandable. And then 77% 7% are the business migrants and 16% have migrated for the employment purposes uh, whereas the other migrants are the 7% of people who are migrating in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. So here is the graphical reflection of people who are migrating from Khyber Pakhtunkhwa for different purposes. As you can see that majority is moving with their parents and then for the employment purposes, health, marriage and education purposes as well. If we see that migration trends in Sindh, we see that uh, less than 1% are the educational migrants and 8% are marriage migrants. Almost 50% move with their parents uh, as the permanent settlers to other provinces, whereas 9% are the business migrants, 15% are migrated for the employment purposes and the rest of uh, the migrants are to be counted as 15%. Here is the reflection of migration from Sindh. You would see that a great majority, just like the other provinces, is migrating as permanent settlers migrating with their parents, whereas the 24% people 
are migrating for the education purposes. Migration for Balochistan is that uh, 1.47 percent are for study migrants, 5 percent are the marriage migrants, uh, whereas uh, 12 percent for the business purposes and 24 percent are the employment purposes. Here you will see the reflection of or uh, the division of those migrants who are migrating for different purposes and majority just like other provinces is the permanent settlers who are moving with their parents.